Dean, uh, happy new year to you. Um, how's the last week been at the club uh, since, since the last uh, postponements we've had recently? Uh, it's been a busy schedule of training. It's been a bit indifferent. Uh, different players been able to train and not been able to train. So um, a lot of preparation, which has been difficult, like I said before, difficult in every camp. Um, but yeah, it's been bright. It's been breezy. We're very blessed here with our facilities. You know, we've been able to, well, the rain's been here, which has been raining heavily over the last week or so. We've been able to train on a brand new 3G, which is just unbelievable, really. So, uh, yeah, it's been bright and breezy. We're looking forward to tomorrow. I mean, what, what do we know about Bournemouth as, as we've already played them twice uh, as far this season? Yeah, very strong side, very streetwise, super organised. They all know their roles. They all know where they're going to, they all know their movements. Um. And they're off the flying. I think they've only let in 14 goals this season. And that's the best in the division. So full credit to them. And um, we've had two really good games against them. Two really tight games against them. And we've come out uh, with defeat, really, which is quite frustrating. Um, but we get an opportunity to hopefully put a right tomorrow. Uh, there's no easy games in the division. And tomorrow will be one of the toughest ones for us. So, uh, But we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to that challenge. Players are definitely looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, it's uh, hopefully we can... Um, Gain three points. I mean, given what you've just said there, what, what sort of match are you expecting tomorrow? Physical. Very physical side. Uh, they lock off the pitch well. Uh, they make you defend. They make you make errors. Uh, super streetwise. Um, you know, we, the last game we played against them, we two players sent off and they got given a penalty. It was never a penalty. That's them managing the referee. So we need a strong referee and we do have one tomorrow, actually. We've got one of the best referees, in my opinion, taking the game tomorrow. So, um, yeah, they know what they're doing. They know their roles. And uh, the, that physicality we're going to have to handle better. We have to move the ball better. And when we get in good areas, we've got to make sure we penetrate them. Um, and if we do get the lead, we need to hold on to it longer than what we did in the, in the game uh, a couple of weeks ago. How, how much confidence does it give you personally, given the fact we, we did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them uh, in, in, our, in our last uh, two matches? Because obviously they're, they're high up in the league and, and we've, uh, we've really tested them. Don't give me any confidence if I'm being totally honest with you. you. Need to win. So whatever way you win a football match, you've got to win a football match. We lost to them both times out of both FA competitions, which hurts. So um yeah, we want to be where they are in the division, up the higher end of it. We've got a good enough squad to do that. Um our players know that I believe in them to do that. It's not like we've gone out and signed loads of players. I've told the players we're not looking to recruit we believe in them but the players have to prove it air players have to prove they're good enough to be at the top of the division and tomorrow's another test for them I mean it was it was uh, recently announced that Sam Woods has, has had his uh, contract extended how pleased are you to get that deal over the line yeah he's the right criteria for us he fits the criteria for us really Sam he's 23 uh, he's fell out of the professional game obviously we are still a professional football club um, and he's a big strong strapping lad He's honest. Uh, he needs to play forward a little bit better um, in, in, in central midfield. He needs to improve on that. But he gives his all. His attributes uh, tick what we want in that department. So we're delighted to have him long term. And uh, hopefully he can get himself back in the team. And uh, he's been out. He's been out ill the last few days. So hopefully he can get himself back in the team sooner rather than later. We're now obviously now in uh, 2022. What, what are your aims with, with Barnet this year? And um, and have you made any any New Year's resolutions? No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a believer in all that rubbish. It's just another day, to be totally honest with you. Um, get a lot of people contact you on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. You don't hear from them all year round. And I sound a bit grumpy and a bit grisly about it because it frustrates me. Um, they're not really my friends, so people contact you like that. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it is what it is. It's just this industry. You know, people pretend to be a friend. But uh, no resolutions. No, look forward to the next day, the next day, the next game. I'm a big believer in living for today and looking forward to tomorrow. I'm learning from yesterday. I've always had that in my life. That's the way I am. Um, and we're just looking forward to one game at a time. This business can change so quick, whether it's positive or negative. We just have to continue to walk to the same level, which is, uh, which is imperative for us to bring success to the football club. And, and just finally, it's a short trip for our uh, supporters tomorrow who, who, uh, who will be uh, itching to get back and, and watching us play again. Yeah, I'd like to wish them a happy new year, our supporters. Um, they've been tremendous in my reign. Uh, the positivity they've shown uh, towards our players has been great. 
but that comes from genuine, honest, hard work from our players and our staff. So we want to uh, keep being inclusive of our supporters, keep that togetherness. And tomorrow is a big, big game for us. We all know it's a big game. Um, and for them, they could probably call it revenge. I personally don't see it that way, but we need to really give our supporters something to, something to, uh, to cheer about, especially against Borland Wood, because they've had the upper hand over their club over the last couple of seasons. So, you know, we're going to have to give our all. Uh, we're going to have to stand up and be counted. We can't get bullied. We can't let players bully referees from the opposition and allow them. We've got to manage this again. We've got a man up now. And we've got to give our supporters something to uh, cheer about come five o'clock tomorrow uh, afternoon.